two schools have ever played in college basketball. Take a look at our starting lineup. For Stephen F. Austin, they are a veteran bunch. They have three senior starters. And Stephen F. Austin, he wears number 12. And if you're asking, no, he did not bring his band. Or his cowboy hat, as far as we know. <laughs> Nine to five. Duke leading Stephen F. Austin. A lot of dribbling for Harris. Up and in. And that's the kind of basket that Harris is doing that in recent years. Stephen F. Austin, as a university, has produced an NFL MVP. Dan Bonner, you should know this, is not too far away from where you live. The Washington Redskins, Mark Mosley, place kicker, NFL MVP. I believe it was 19.4. And now Harris ahead of the pack. What do you got, young fella? Very casual as he lays it up and in over Trey Jones. And a really good decision by Trey Jones to get out of the way, not only because he's 216 pounds. Something you rarely see. Kayvon Harris just told his coach, can I come up for just a second? And he his coach's answer is no. A high percentage. Duke leads by 10. John Como looking for help finds Harris. Kevon Harris into a thicket of Blue Devil defenders and still Boy, it gets is, it, the it ball. is amazing <laughs> how well he Wendell Moore from eight feet shot at 11. Here comes Harris. Kevon Harris somehow going 100 miles an hour scores the goal. With the guy, I guess. He may not make all the shots, but he makes big ones. Don't tell me how many, tell me when. Harris on the post up. Spins on the freshman Moore and scores on top of Carey. Oh, almost a steal. Harris ahead of the pack. What do you got, young fella? With two hands. Oh, the crowd is absolutely stunned. It's been the Kevon Harris show here in Cameron Indoor Stadium. And Stephen F. Austin has scored 44 points, 38 of them from the interior. Only six points outside the lane. Trying to get inside and do some work is Kevon Harris. We're with over 1,380 points. He's gone over the 14. Coming out of the Southland Conference, going toe to toe with a giant. Harris, little push off, nothing called. Drops it through. Tie ball game. I think that's the first. Harris and a foul. They got tangled up. Duke is saying that an elbow was thrown. There was a collision there, but it's not an elbow. It's a shoulder yep. oh, kind no, of contact. Oh, well, that's some theatrics there for Trey Jones. And Harris shoots it over eight. Harris's shoulder, and so they ruled there was nothing there other than the foul had gone to the basket the most consistently for Stephen F. Austin. And you would have to think that they're going to look for one of those two guys to penetrate and try to score. Harris slides inside, had it knocked away for the foul! A foul! Pretty free throw. We're tied at 79.